Hello everyone, we will continue the topic classical report events and in the previous video, we started with the so event at selection screen on help request for field of selection screen or input screen. And this event require action from our end when we will do F1 on a field of selection screen or input screen, this particular event is triggering. And we took the requirement that we will provide the technical information for this particular checkbox. Now, what we will do? Firstly, we will create some technical information or we will create some documentation. Now, in SAP, we have a dedicated transaction code to create that documentation. And that transaction code is SC61. Whatever the documentation you are seeing in SAP, it's always, always created through SC61. Suppose simple. If I will go to SC11 transaction code, I'm doing F1. Suppose if I'm going for documentation of database tables. So this all documentation SAP created in SC61 transaction code only. And then we are calling this documentation on F1 action. Same way, what we will do, we will create that documentation through SC61 transaction code. Then we will call that documentation on F1 of this particular checkbox. Okay. So firstly, we will create documentation. So you can say technical information, whatever you want to do. So I will do, I will go for SC61 transaction code. Title is itself document maintenance, document maintenance. Now, first thing, you need to choose that document class, document class. Suppose if I will go for F4 help, we have so many document classes available. PDF form, class is there, class method, data element, all these, for all these things, we can create documentation. Now we just want to go for a journal documentation, journal documentation that whenever we will do F1, that documentation should appear. So for this journal kind of documentation, if you see, we have a dedicated class, dedicated class, this journal text, TX. So based upon the yes, particular object, you can choose. Suppose you want to go for table type, you can use TT. If you want to go for table or structure, you can use TB. In this case, we are simply, simply providing some general text. We are providing some general documentation that whenever you, the user will do F1 on that checkbox, that documentation should appear. So I will choose TX. Now, give some name to that document. You can give any name, it's your wish. Suppose I'm saying, I will give the name to the document that suppose Z, suppose documentation for currency. Okay. So I gave some name, Z-D-O-C-C-U-R. I will go for create. You can give any name, it's your wish. Now, editor will open where I will write the documentation. So whatever the documentation you want to write, yes, generally customer provide the documentation and we will write here. Suppose I will give the documentation, suppose. Checkbox for currency. So what is the value? 
suppose selected or in the bracket i will write true if checkbox is selected currency field will be visible if deselected means false i am just providing the documentation so that customer can easily easily understand the documentation currency field will not be visible so we provided the documentation i will save i will save it as a local object this documentation we created through sc61 transaction code we choose the class as px tx stands for general text and we gave some name to the document now this documentation whatever we maintained whenever user will do f1 on this particular field that documentation should appear should appear so we all know whenever we will do f1 which event will call add selection screen on help request for this particular field now at this event will trigger add selection screen on help request now i will call that particular thing which i maintain in sc61 now how to do that sap provided a function module we will use that function module now if you don't know function module topic no problem you can learn from the separate playlist but as of now you can survive without the knowledge of function module also we all know up to this level whenever i want to call a function module i can call through which particular button i can call through pattern button so i will go to pattern button i will give the name to the function module so whenever you want to whenever you want to show the documentation which you maintained through sc61 the name of the function module is help underscore object underscore show so i will call this particular function module help underscore object underscore show now what is the name of your document class if you see in sc61 what the name of the document class we provided what is the name of document class if you see tx tx we choose tx so i will pass tx now we will go for document name but the name of the document we gave if you see the name of the document is z d o c c u r now this two things we provided now best practice always uncomment the exceptions now in front of links declare one internal table anyways this internal table is of no use at all we will not pass anything so if i will double click on this function module also help object show if i will go to tables it is clearly saying links is of no use but yes we need to pass s yes, because if we will not pass sap will throw a runtime error saying that it is a mandatory thing because optional is not ticked it means we need to pass this but we will not pass anything just we will declare now you can see in front of links we gave lt_links 
so what will be the type of lt underscore links it will be same as that of links yes correct so how i can check the type of links i will simply simply go to table tab of the function module links is of this type so i will copy and declare in my program anyways whenever you will learn the function module topic you will get all this concept but as of now this much knowledge is enough so now i will declare data lt underscore links i think i gave this name only so i'll just check is lt underscore links type table of now i will check the syntax and activate the program so now on this particular event yes on help request event we called this particular function module but this function module is whatever you maintained in sc61 whenever you want to retrieve that documentation you can use this particular function module now we will understand in the debugging mode how it is working so i will put a break point here i will run now i will simply simply do f1 f1 function plus i will do i am doing f1 we all know whenever i will do f1 which event will trigger at selection screen on help request for the field on which field you are doing f1 so we did a f1 on this particular checkbox we gave the document class we gave the document name now we will simply simply execute this particular function module i am doing f6 now i'll simply simply open i will simply simply execute you can see size of r c is 0 it means this function module successfully executed now i am doing f8 now you can see this particular documentation we gave we gave this documentation have we given the same to same documentation yes check box was currency selected deselected and have you seen this kind of pop up you are always always getting whenever you are checking f1 information for anything suppose if i will go for anything i am going to sc11 i am doing f1 have you seen same to same kind of pop up same to same pop up now we are getting i, I will show you our same to same pop up is there i will do go to sc38 i will remove the breakpoint and now i will show you without the breakpoint itself i am running just i am doing f1 you can see the yes, same to same thing is there so this is the way how you can provide the technical information so what is the summary of the video in this video firstly we maintained the documentation through or sc61 transaction code then how how we are called that documentation in our program we used sap function module help underscore object underscore show we provided that document class because we used general text so that document class for the general text is tx we gave the name of that document in this name itself we gave that documentation we provide the name of the internal table in front of links yes anyways this is mandatory parameter we passed but we are not going to use anything so whenever we did f1 at selection screen on help request event called whenever this event called this function module is calling 
and this function module is giving us the technical information or documentation, whatever we maintained through SC61. So this is the way you can give the documentation, technical information to the customer depends upon the requirement. So that's it in this video. Thank you.